Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm making a shirt that for now I'm just calling a diagonal spiral. I'm not really sure what else to call this shirt. The shirt was prepped like normal and I have it turned inside out. To start, I'm basically going to fold the shirt diagonally. That's where the diagonal spiral comes in. I'm folding the shirt from the top shoulder seam to the opposite corner of the hem. So I'm folding the shirt diagonally from the shoulder seam to the hem. Then I'm gonna grab the bottom corner of the shirt and I'm gonna begin spiraling the shirt. So just ignore the weird little bug critter that kind of was up by my camera. I'm not quite sure what that was. Once I have the shirt spiraled, I'm going to hold the folds in place with some rubber bands. I have several more shirts that I'm going to tie today, so I'm going to go ahead and set this one aside. By the time I got back to it to start applying the dye, the shirt had fully dried. For this shirt, I've chosen three green colors and three blue colors. Before I begin, I want to make myself an ice barrier using silicone cake molds. I have a link down below in the description for where I purchased the cake molds. Then I also want to use a washable marker and divide the shirt into six sections. To apply the dye, I'm going to alternate between green and blue. I'm beginning with Forest Green from Dharma Trading Company. Followed by Seashell Blue from Grateful Dyes. Yucca from Dharma Trading Company. Blue MX2G from Custom Colors. Dark Green from Pro Chemical and Dye. And the final color is Electric Blue from Dharma Trading Company. Then I'm going to add an additional sprinkle of soda ash over the top of the dye, followed by a layer of ice. I set the shirt aside and I allowed the first layer of ice to melt. After the first layer melted, there was still quite a bit of undissolved dye left sitting on the top, so I went ahead and added a second layer of ice and allowed it to melt as well. 
After the second layer melted, I allowed the shirt to process for about two days. You don't need to necessarily leave it that long, but you should leave it for at least 24 hours. When I turn the shirt over, you can see that the dye has come through really well to the back side. So to rinse the shirt, I'm going to take it to my utility sink and begin rinsing it in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. After rinsing in cold for a while, I'm going to gradually warm the water up to hot and rinse the shirt in hot water to rinse out any of the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. Then I'm going to untie the shirt and continue rinsing until the water is almost clear. Then I'll put the shirt into my washing machine along with a little bit of Dharma's textile detergent and wash it using a hot water cycle. And once the shirt has been washed and dried, this is what it looks like. Okay, so what do you guys think? I wasn't really sure what to expect with this shirt, but I really like the way it turned out. I was tying a bunch of shirts that day and just was ready to try something different. So I thought, let's just see what happens. And I'm pretty happy with the results. I like the color combination and the way the colors flow into one another. And I also like the dark streaks that are going down through the shirt from the spiraling process. Right in the middle of the shirt, the dark green from Pro Chemical formed a heart. And I think that looks kind of cool. Also, when you look at the shirt from the side, the side of the shirt where I started the spiral has a star flower. The other side is just stripes though. So what do you guys think about this shirt? Do you like it? Do you like this different way of folding it? Do you have a better name for it than Diagonal Spiral? I had no clue what to call this one. I didn't think that the I got bored and tried something new would probably be a good name for it. But if you have a better name for it, drop it in the comments down below. And also drop me a comment and let me know what you think about it. I would also appreciate it if you'd like my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.